Hello, it's Movie here for Movie Media, reporting for Xbox Live Gamer Hub. Um, quick introduction, I guess, seeing this is my first video for Xbox Live Gamer Hub. I've done videos for other websites as well, so some of you will know me already. But for those of you who don't, what I'm about to tell you is actually um, consequential to the review I'm about to, to uh, show you. Um, I'm one of the old guard. Um, I started in the heady days of the uh, very early 80s on the Spect ZX Spectrum and the Amstrad and the Amiga and things like that. Um, and I've been uh, basically collecting every games console and PCs and things like that that's been released going upwards for a while. Now, the thing with me, because I started back, way, way back in the day, before some of you were even sperm, I'm, I'm hazarding, I guess, is that... Um, when you grow up with graphics like a ZX Spectrum, you start to realise that graphics aren't everything, it's all about the gameplay. And that is what my videos are mainly going to be about, and my reviews. The first thing I look at is gameplay over graphics. Um, some of you might not like that. I, I know some people prefer to get all the new shiny shinies and everything look, has to look realistic and things like that. But then again, if it's not fun to play, then to me, what's the point? Which is probably why I'm more of a sort of indie advocate at the moment. Uh, the, those days of the Spectrum things are coming back in a big way to me, but in the form of the iPads, which I'm using as an auto cue right here, so you know. Um, yeah, so the, those kind of games on the iPad and, and the Android and things like that, and all the indie games that are coming out on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and the Marketplace, and over on Ouya and things like that, all brilliant. It's gone, almost gone back to um, the times of the bedroom developer where you've got one or two people making games. I mean, look at Flappy Bird, look at look what happened right there. So. To me, it's all about the gameplay, 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 and is it fun? So, with that in mind, here's a quick review of the massively multiplayer, free-to-play, online, first-person shooter, try saying that after a few sherries, Warface, but this is the 360 version. Um, quite interesting little concept, this. This is the beta uh, build, I believe. Um, the fact that it's free to download, um, we'll cover that in some more details, but uh, right off the bat I'm not a ma massive fan of modern first person shooters, I think that a lot of them um, started to go a bit stale, um, you know, with the yearly updates and things like that, and again the gameplay in a way suffered. Um, but they seem to be having a bit of a resurgence, we've got Titanfall out which is a hell of a lot of fun, uh, and now games like this. But is it any good? Well, let's find out. Okay, so on initial boot up, um, you can see it's pretty much on the face of it another generic first person shooter. Gameplay wise, it's a bit of a straight mashup between uh, Battlefield 3 and Call of Duty, but it's got the other on the fly weapons upgrades of Crytek's other shooters. A quick press of the D pad lets you raise your weapon to your eyes effectively and allows you to attach various things to your weapons, such as silences, scopes, and things like that with just a quick press of one of the face buttons and you can do that on the fly in the game which is kind of a nice touch, I do like that. Gameplay wise you start off only having access to two of the four available classes, Assault and Sniper. No prizes for guessing what type of guns are involved in both of those classes, they're just the usual kind of thing. Uh, the difference is, um, as a sort of, put it in inverted commas, perk type system, um, the former Assault that allows you to replenish both your own and your teammates ammo with a quick press of the bumper button and uh, the latter is, well, it's a sniper with a powerful weapon, what more do you need? After a bit of Call of Duty style grinding, building up kills and completing tasks, uh, you can unlock the other two classes which are my two favourites of the game. So they are Engineer who carries SMGs and you can fix teammates body armour and uh, my personal favourite given my own gameplay style because I like to run around like an ape and not shoot straight and just act like an idiot is Medic and that carries a ridiculously high powered um, shotgun um, assuming you're close enough to your target of course and allows you to heal your teammates damaged health which comes in very handy especially in the co-op mode which we're talking about later but if you're anything like me you're probably thinking so far so generic um, but on the flip side, the developers have to at least try to bring in good teamwork mechanics. 
Um, as with Battlefield, you get organised, and, and if you work together as a team, you can pretty much annihilate the opposition, an opposition who are just like solo run and gun style people. As long as, of course, you've got a combination of your perks, and each one of you's got a different class, and you're helping each other out. You also, as you see here, do have the assisted climb mechanic, which is in this game, which is actually relatively original, really. Um, you basically stand underneath on the reach of a ledge, as you can see here, hold X, and there's an animation where your teammate walks up to you, you boost them up, and then they turn around and pull you up behind them. It does allow a bit of tactical gameplay, so you can sort of position yourself in higher lev levels of the, of the uh, map and shooting down on people, and especially on the more objective style rounds, this can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Go back to this co-op mode previously mentioned, it's what, probably my favourite um, part of the game on a personal level. If anything, the best way you can describe it is it's uh, not on the rails Virtua Cop style thing almost. You, you are going down pretty much corridor-like levels, um, but you are working as a team shooting hordes of AI opponents, uh, relying on your team's medic to revive you if you're down, otherwise you've you got all that embarrassment you're having to spectate until your team reaches the next checkpoint. And there's quite a lot to like about this level, there's varying difficulties, there's var varying settings, and developers do promise, even on the menu screen there, that more challenges and things will be put into the game as you go along. But, to be honest, for me, again, it's, it's, it's a great little addition, but it's not enough to truly make you love the game. Uh, it's more of a, a fun distraction for an hour or two. But you might be a hardcore first-person shooter fan, and you're probably thinking out, out, out loud in your head, it's a free game, Moobit, what are you moaning at? Well, yes and no, it's a free game. It, it's, it's free to play in that you can just download it on the uh, Xbox Live Marketplace. However, you do need a gold subscription to play the game. Obviously, that's not such a massive deal. Most of the people who are watching this will probably have a gold subscription anyway, but technically, you are paying for that, so it's not actually free. Yes, they also have the microtransaction-style features of any free-to-play game as well. The devs have got to make their money somehow. You don't necessarily have to use these. Um, it's not really a pay-to-succeed-style model as, as with other games that have been controversial in the past. It's more of a pay-to-not-have-to-grind-so-long-to-get-the-guns kind of thing. But you will notice, I think, after a couple of weeks of playing the game, once it's released properly, that unless you have unlocked the higher powered weapons, which take a long time of grinding to unlock, so unless you're going to pay to unlock those weapons, you're going to pretty much get down quite quickly. Especially with the dodgy respawning uh, on this game, where because I found myself uh, spawning right in front of somebody else quite a lot of the time and just, just dying instantly for obvious reasons. So overall, what do I think of the game? Well. If I was reviewing the PC version of this, it would actually be a lot easier for me. Um, again, this is all subjective to whether you're a hardcore first-person shooter fan or not. If you're a PC gamer, there are better free-to-play first-person shooter games out there, such as Team Fortress, um, which means no introduction to you PC gamers out there, but this is the 360 version. So there's not a lot out there in this style of game that is free-to-play. Obviously, we've got World of Tanks and things, but not... This is a quality first-person shooter in the same vein of Call of Duty. It is, you know, to say it's free is actually quite damn good quality. But does that mean, though, with that in mind, that you should be giving the, the 360 version a free pass, even for its faults, just because it's free? <sighs> well, possibly not. It's by no means a bad game. Um, it's by, but it's also by no means absolutely amazing. Will you still be playing it after a few months? Possibly not. Um, if you're a hardcore first-person shooter fan, yes, I would recommend you play this. You'll probably find a lot to love if, out of it. And the fact that it's free, you probably won't mind the, you know, paying a little bit for some for your preferred weapons you know, to unlock those. Um, so, yeah, you might find a lot to love and you might get a lot of great gameplay out of it. Um, especially if people play it as it's intended, you know, running around in pairs and working as a team. If you're more of a casual player, I think you'll probably play this for a week or two, possibly a month, while you're waiting for the next big game that you're intending to buy to come out. But those are just my thoughts on Warface. What are yours? Let us know in the description below. Quick reference to Ray William Johnson there for all your little fans out there. I know who you are. I can see you. And I'm watching you. I know what you've got open on that other tab. 
You dirty, dirty, dirty boy. You know who you are. Or you can get yourself over to Xbox Live Gamer Hub. There you'll find a written review by my good self with some more screenshots and some more detailed thoughts and a, and a score and all the rest of it. Um, and you can let us know it below the review right there. Um, for more of my stuff, you can check out my blog. The links are below in the description of the YouTube and on the actual written review itself. And uh, hope I'll see you in the next review, hopefully uh, in a couple of weeks. ta -ra. I like to move it, move it, bit, 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 bit.